Hi, it's Laura with Following the Paper Trail, and it is the second day of Christmas Projects 2019. And I have a fun, super easy project um, to show for you today. As many of you know, I drink a lot of Diet Dr. Pepper. This is not a plug for them. They don't send me free stuff or anything. I just needed the bottle. You can use a soda bottle. You can use a water bottle any kind of plastic bottle that you typically throw into either recycling or the trash. And from this bottle, what we're gonna make is a stand to hold our glue. A lot of us use the, the Scotch Quick Dry, or it's now called Permanent Tacky Glue. Again, I don't get this for free, but a lot of us use it. <coughs> or a lot of us use glues that has this same sort of bottle um, with this tiny little tip and so we like to store it upside down. Now the quick dry glue used to have a really nifty lid on it. I tried to save a few of them, but over the years they've gotten lost or whatever. But it used to have this neat large lid to where you could stand it on its end and it would be standing upside down. And so your glue didn't dry out, the glue and the tip didn't dry out as quickly and you could keep the glue flowing. But of course, they changed it to where it's got this little tiny tip that, I don't know about you, but I lose it frequently. Um, usually before I uh, use up the bottle of glue. So I save these little tips now in case I lose one. Um, the easiest way to use this glue, again, is storing it upside down. I've been storing it upside down in a mason jar, which hasn't worked that great. Um, so I wanted to come up with a, another solution. Well, what I came up with is using a um, soda or water bottle, cutting the top off, and then putting a, uh, a chipboard surround around it so that my glue could then sit down inside of that bottle. I can leave the lid on the bottle so that when I don't have my little lid on my glue, any glue that gets on there can get wiped out and then I put the, the bottle lid back on. You can leave it with the bottle lid off completely and then it sits down inside as well. With the bottom of the bottle, I cut it off as well and I made a little um, trash bowl or scriblets bowl as I call it. I have a little ramekin that I've had for many years, a little metal one um, that I use to um, hold all like construction strips when I'm I'm tabbing the corners or cutting them to an angle, all those little pieces. I just do it into my little um, scriblets bowl. And then when it's full or so, I can just dump it into the trash. So I don't have those floating all over my desk. So I'm gonna use the bottom of the bottle for the little scriblets bowl and the top to hold my glue. So you're just gonna need um, a bottle, and then a craft knife in order to cut that off. Now, I'm, my initial cut is going to be just above my label on here, and I'm just gonna cut it off, not being super particular, I'm just getting it cut off, because it's hard to be really have a nice clean cut with a craft knife. I know some of you are allergic to your craft knife, so you might have to dig it out in order to use it. So I'm gonna cut the top off, I'll cut the bottom off the same way. Now, the Dr. Pepper bottles, I just washed this one out so it's still damp, um, have a nifty little line here that I can then follow when I use my scissors to cut this with a cleaner edge to it. So I'm gonna just follow along that line and cut off the edge. Once I get it cut, I can use some sandpaper or a nail file emery board and even this edge out, clean it up, make it nice and smooth and not so sharp. So this gives me the part for the, um, it falls over, otherwise we just use the bottle. Um, so this gives me the stand for my glue bottle. What I'm going to then do is let me cut the bottom off real quick first as well. So I'll cut the bottom off 
And then I'm gonna cut lightweight chipboard surrounds to go around the two of these. So I have my glue stand and my scribbles, scriblets bowl. And toss that part. So this has a line on it the same way. So I can then go around and around and around and around. On that line and cut it and then again probably would cut it a little more carefully sand it off make it nice and smooth and then I'm going to cut some lightweight chipboard now chipboard has a grain to it much like fabric does across the width of my eight and a half by eleven sheets it curves easily down the length not so much so you're gonna want to cut this so that it goes easily around you're gonna measure it so that it fits perfectly around your base or your top. I then use some half inch score tape or other strong adhesive, and I'm gonna take this half inch and put it on quarter of an inch on one side, quarter of an inch onto the other side. So this is my piece that's on the inside. I'm gonna do the same thing to the outside so that I can make sure this joint doesn't fold at that, that point, but rather is a nice clean edge. So on the inside, I've got a piece of, a one inch wide piece of cardstock by the same height. I've just taken and put, in, put some, put, in, put some um, eighth inch tape on each side of it. I'll peel the paper backing off of this and cover that joint over. If you're going to cover the inside of these rings with pattern paper, you wouldn't need to do this because your pattern paper would cover the inside. But you'd want to allow, if you are going to cover the inside, you want to allow in your the length of your chipboard, allow for that paper being in there as well. Um, then this piece will be used when I cover this with the pattern paper. I've done it for the tall uh, the tall one. This is three and a half inches tall for my bottle. You can make it taller or shorter depending on your bottle. I've made for the bottom, I've made this two inches tall. Again, you can make it taller or shorter depending on the size of your bottle. And, and I'm not giving the dimension for the length of it because your bottle dimension may vary. So, um, so we're just going to pop those down inside. We'll cover it with a pattern paper. You can glue the paper on. You can use um, uh, adhesive tape to put it on. And then once you have that all ready to go, I used some glossy accents and glued my bottle top in and my bottle bottle bottom in. You can use other um, adhesives. You could even use your quick dry. Um, but just glue it around the edge and slip those down so it lines up around the top edge. And you've got your little uh, trash bowl and your glue holder. So these are the completed ones. I've used some of my own pattern paper on here. I had to splice it because it wasn't quite wide, wide enough, but I tried to make it look pretty. So um, there you go. You got a little glue holder. You got a little place for your, your itsy bitsy trash. Um, and then you can cover them with a pattern paper that suits your desktop and you're good to go. I even take my little um, cap and just sew it in the bottom while I have my lid on and let that sit inside of there so that way I know where it is. And I'm less likely to lose it. See, the reason I lose it, it doesn't want to seem to stay on, which I'm not sure why. So anyway, I can store it that way all the time so my, my glue is always ready to run. So... Anyway, that's my project for the second day of Christmas Projects 2019. Hope you like it. Thanks a bunch.